Hey YouTube, it's me Ronnie and I'm back with another video. I apologize for my absence, but I will explain a little bit about that later on. But as you can tell by the title, I am doing some barrel twists in my head. I'm going to show you guys how I do my barrel twists as well as how I do a rope twist. It'll be just a really cute style. This has been my go-to style since I've learned how to do barrel twists. So I'm super excited. I finally get to record it and show you guys. So as always, when I start out, I use this Giovanni Direct Leave-In and I spray that all over my hair. So this is on freshly washed hair. I had just got out of the shower, but I think maybe 20 or 30 minutes have passed by so my hair started to dry up a little bit. So I just decided to add some more moisture. And here I'm taking Flourish 101, their hair oil, and I'm putting that all over this section. So here I'm just sectioning off my hair to start my rope twist or two strand twist, whatever you like to call it. And I will be using the Napstar Retwist Gel. I purchased this at the end of December. So how much as you see gone is how much I've used over the past month. But I use it mainly for my edges. This is my first time retwisting my hair with it. Um, I liked how it retwists, but looking back at the footage, I didn't realize just how much buildup was at the roots like how it uh the, the white residue right there i didn't notice it as i was retwisting only as i looked back at this footage so i'm not sure if i will be using this to retwist my hair moving forward it looks really cute but we'll see how it holds up over time so yeah i'm just going to be doing rope twists here um right on this twist i messed it up so i had to take it down and retwist it the opposite way i always get confused when it comes to the rope twist of which direction to twist it in but got all the other ones right so yeah this is just me doing the rope twist so i haven't posted a youtube video since september i believe one of the last videos was um a slideshow or how i dyed my hair or something but so let me let me rewind a little bit i did not plan to take a break from youtube but as you guys know in a video that i think i have now privated I had adopted two kittens. I adopted two domestic short hair cats from a coworker, and I got those cats on October, no, August 21st, 2021. I got two little baby kittens. They were seven weeks old, almost eight weeks, um, and I was super excited about it. I still have my cats, and I'm still super excited about it, but a little bit about my absence. So once I got my kittens... I want to say about four weeks later, I had an allergic reaction to something. I assumed the item that I had an allergic reaction to was an eyeliner because that is where I started to feel and see the reaction. Um, I'm going to insert some photos right about now. And so this is what the reaction looked like. The outsides of my eyes had gotten red and swollen. And it was very itchy, very, very painful and uncomfortable. But I took um, Benadryl, I took Claritin, hoping that that would help. And sure enough, it did go down. Um, it wasn't as swollen for a couple of days, but it was still very, very itchy and very, very red. So even though it was um, still itchy and still red, I had not gone to the doctor at this point because I figured it's just an allergic reaction to some cats and I'm pretty sure Benadryl, you know, it can just be my go-to because I didn't want to have to give my kittens up. But one day I woke up and the red swollenness turned into like a scab over my eye. I'm sorry if this is like TMI, it probably is, but it was, um, it was super tight and I could barely blink because it was just the, the scab, I guess. I don't know how to describe it other than <laughs> the scab was super tight. So trying to blink was uncomfortable. So I went to urgent care. And when I was there in urgent care, I waited in the waiting room longer than I was in there with the doctor. He came in, asked me what was wrong. And I told him and he just prescribed me some um, topical antibiotics for my eyes. So I got that and I had to apply that four times a day. And so it helped so much it helped tremendously um took away the scab took away the itchiness um but the redness was still there the redness did not go away 
So I continued to use the eye ointment for, I want to say maybe around 14 days. I was supposed to use it for seven days, but I was too afraid to stop using it. So I continued to use it um, until I finally felt comfortable enough to just stop cold turkey. And once I stopped that, the issue started right back up. So yeah, I was walking around looking like this at work. <laughs> it sucked so hard because of course we have to wear masks now. So eyes are all you really have to like, you know, not communicate with people, but for people to like, you know, know who you are. And my eyes were so messed up. I didn't want anyone looking at me. I felt so self-conscious with my eyes like that, which is why I did not take as many photos in this time frame. I didn't record any videos because I was just trying to get my face and my eyes to heal. Once I stopped using the ointment and the issue came back, I started using Vaseline on it and the Vaseline has been a lifesaver. So I started using the Vaseline. The Vaseline was a lifesaver, all of that. But I realized it was no longer about the eyeliner and I may have been an allergic reaction to my cats because I had went away on a trip. And while I was away, my eyes were starting to get better. They were perfectly fine. And when I came back to my apartment, the issue started up again and that's how I discovered that I may be allergic to my cats. I have not been able to go to a doctor. I don't have a primary care physician in this state and trying to get in with a provider as a new patient is virtually impossible right now with COVID. So I'm not going to be able to um, go to see a doctor about it um, to actually take an allergy test and be certain that I am allergic to my cats. But that's the running assumption that I have. So that's where I've been with that. I've been researching dermatologists something so that my skin can go back to normal. It's not 100%, but it is not as horrible as it was. And I am forever thankful for that. So right here, I'm going to be combining two locks. These are locks that are on the right side of my head, and they both have gotten thin over the past two years. So I'm just combining them into one so that it will be nice and strong. And the reason why I'm not doing two strand twists to the front of my hair is because this is the these are the locks that I'm going to use for the barrel twists. Another reason for my absence is because at the late end of December, right before Christmas, I caught COVID. COVID finally took your girl down and I was down bad. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to explain that in a little bit. But here in a second, I'm going to show you guys how I accomplished my barrel twist. So I'm gonna try to explain this to the best of my abilities. It is a little confusing. So starting out, I am doing a two strand twist with two locks. And then I'm taking one lock and wrapping it over and under twice. And then I take a lock from the opposite side and repeat that over, under. Once again, take a lock and then I wrap them tighter just so it's a nice and taut style. And then I wrap it over, under, and then over again. And then I grab another lock and repeat that same step. And as you can see, it's creating like a, a little barrel, a little, little rope. And so once again, I take one lock from one side and then I tighten it, wrap it over, grab it under, and then put it with the rest of them. And then take one from the opposite side and repeat that step. And you just continue to repeat that and then you'll end up with a barrel twist. I hope that made sense to y'all because I don't know if I'm being confusing or not, but it's literally taking a lock, making it tighter, wrapping it over, under, and then grabbing it with the rest of them. And then take one from the opposite side and repeat and then put a rubber band at the end to seal the work. You can barrel twist all the way like, you know, down, but I'm just doing the, the top of my head. And so repeating, do a two strand twist with two locks and then grab one, put it over and under. From the opposite side, grab it over and under and then there you go. I hope this is making sense because I feel like I'm not making a lick of sense here.
wrap that lock over under and then here I am just taking the rubber band to secure it Once again, I've already created the two strand twists and now I'm taking locks, pulling one over, under, and then grabbing one from the opposite side, pulling it over, then under. Another one from the opposite side, pull it over, under, and then you just repeat that step and add a rubber band and there you go, you have barrel twists. So yeah, I caught COVID right before Christmas, so I had to spend Christmas here in Texas by myself all alone as well as new year's <laughs> i caught covid because i went to my company's christmas party and i know it was irresponsible of me to go but i had gotten the vaccine finally and i was like eh i should be good nope caught covid happy it's over um everyone get vax if that's your thing if you're not then wear a mask you know do you boo but it's not fun catching covid at all but yeah, this is the hairstyle. I love how it turned out. I did do end up doing two strand twists on the the little ponytail at the top. Um, I was gonna take the the rope twist down the next day, but I actually like the way they look, so I'm gonna keep them in for as long as I can. But yeah, here I am. As you can see, I don't know if you can notice my eye, but it's darker. My eyes are still bruised. I'm just happy they don't itch. But yeah, this is my hair and I think it looks fire. At this point, you can go ahead and call me a loctician because bitch, who doing hair like me? Nobody. <laughs> Look at it. It looks so freaking good. And it's so funny when I think about how far I've came with doing my hair, driving all the way to Houston to get my hair done. When all along, I could pull this off. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.